Hey, what's up, Nord47? Back with another video here on the Golf Club 2019, and today is quite a different video to what we'd normally do on the channel. Um, I think the closest that I've come to doing a video like this before was back in TGC2, with when I kind of got the everybody. I, I was even guilty of it myself for quite a while, especially during TGC, TGC1, and briefly into TGC2 was the the whole phantom break uh, thing around the greens where the ball would break at certain parts, but what I what we what we learned and what I did in the video and what I demonstrated in the video was that it was just a case of green uh, the beads not appearing along the green grid lines, but the grid was still shown that there was a, that there was break at those particular parts. But anyway, that's a that's a completely different story. That that is uh, extinct now for TGC 2019. HB Studios did indeed sort that one out. But today, this uh, this swing method, from what I've seen, what I've tested myself, what I was shown as well. Um, it appears that it tricks the API on TGC tours. So I was given, I was, I was sent a, a link to a video um, by Hippie Stein. He got pictures sent to him, screenshots, and asking about this particular line, um, and how on earth, how on earth is this this particular person? I don't know who the person that the screenshot was to. Um, who who was playing that this screenshot was of? I don't know who it was. I don't know who sent the uh, the picture to Hippie Stein. I, 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 it was just Hippie Stein himself sent it sent it on to me. He said, "Have a look at this." Um, now he has no problem with me mentioning him in the in the, in the video. Um, I did ask permission. Um, he went on to a live stream. I will be I will drop either a card up on the top right of the screen at some point during the video, or um, I will also probably link it at the end screen of this video uh, to his live to his live stream so you can see it uh, from himself as well. Um, but this is a uh, quite a quite a weird swing. Let me get down onto get down and get down around about. Uh, we'll throw it down around about here. Um, what I'll do is I'm actually gonna just throw on before I forget. Automatic mulligan. There we go. This swing line. Now, obviously, let's just. I'm not going to worry about where I'm aiming. Worry. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll take a shot. Right. This grid. That that's that should actually be the flag that we're going to always aim at. Now, what I'd normally do for a shot. Right. Okay. Ball is pretty level. Angled wind slightly. I give it a, give it a few taps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just uh, about the same as the wind. Maybe a little bit less. 171 up 10 feet it's going to be playing about what 174 with the wind give it a touch of deal off let's see how it goes now this is a normal swing this is how i normally play oh i got a fast i did push it as well i'll try it again I'll try it again i want to get a perfect perfect on it i don't want to get a don't want to get a fast that's not bad that's a decent swing oh it's coming around a little bit left that's not too bad decent approach that's uh, decent. Left me about 10 feet there. What does this swing do, though? Um, before I start demonstrating it, I, the current event, uh, I do believe, if I, what course is it? TPC Deer Run. On the PGA Tour, on TGC Tours, I played that the other day. Uh, I played, uh, I'm, I'm recording this now, Tuesday 9th of July, just after doing that update of putting video. Um, but yesterday morning, I played the first round on TGC Tours, as I just said there. And on one particular hole, I did this swing on purpose. It was a par three. Now I ended up going a little bit long. Um, I will, I will admit that I just rolled off the back of the green, but the trajectory of the shot was was bang on, pretty much bang on. It was ever so slightly right of the hole, but it just rolled on. As I got, I think if I remember right, actually, I got a fast downswing, and that's the reason why it carried on a little bit extra. But straight after the round, I decided. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna send uh, the TGC Tours admins uh, an email, asking them can they check my API for the round? Does anything look out of the ordinary? Um, is a little bit concerning because a few of my swing lines did actually look very straight. I also pointed out I said also I'm curious I I did a purpose, I did a swing a particular type of swing on purpose on the seventh hole, par three seventh. Um, what does that what's what's that coming back as? And as you can see now on screen, here is the reply back that I got. I've blocked out the uh, I've blocked out the admin's name, uh, just so I don't get anybody in trouble. But uh, here's the email anyway that I got back. It's hi Stephen. I don't see anything wrong with your round, uh, so everything appeared normal. Um, and on seven in particular, that shot registers as way way right, like further right than I've ever seen before. 
Are you saying this produced a straight shot in the game? Can you tell me more? So that's the email that I got back. Now let's demonstrate. It might take me a little bit to get a little bit of a feel for it. It might take a few shots. Um, but I'm not going to worry really about the wind. I'm not going to worry about the ball lie. Um, okay, so we've worked it out. It's about playing about 174 with the wind. The closest I'll come to worrying about the wind. I'm going to club it up. Club it up to a 6 iron. Let's see how it goes. All I'm going to do... Edge of the green grid, 12 boxes. Uh, so let me just count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it should be just roughly around about here. I might be a little bit off. Might be a little bit off due to the fact that I can't actually see the edge of it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my controller roughly 40, 45 degrees. And let's swing. Oh, now I did get a fast there, but let's see how it turns out. It's tracking back around. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Touchdown. That's that's decent. That's somewhere between 15 and 20 feet. Now I'm not going to change it. Wind has died down slowly, or a slight bit. But I give it a perfect, perfect. Hopefully. No, there's another fast. Let me just speed that up. want to try and get a perfect, perfect on this. Sorry, my hands are a little bit sweaty. It's absolutely roasting in the house tonight. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Now look at that swing line. Now it's not coming around. The wind might be playing a little bit. Or I might be just a little bit off. Actually, if I can change holes. If I can change the hole where, where we can see the full... Where we can see the full green grid. So let me just quickly take a shot here. It doesn't matter where it goes. Just send it that way. <clears throat> now it should put me down beside the green. Okay. Um, Alright, it's going to put me there. Now it's going to give me the same hole. So I'll be right back actually in just a second when I get a new one. <laughs> when I get a new hole where I can see the full grid. Okay, found uh, I got it to, to line up a hole now really quick. So as you can see, we can see the both left and right edges of the grid. Uh, just before I forget, we'll just turn that back on. Auto mulligan. So again, what have we got now this time? It's a little bit shorter actually. 147 up 10 feet. So it's going to be playing roughly 150. Wind about 8 mile per hour. Okay, we'll pop that up to an 8 iron. Let's go right out. Aim roughly about the left edge. And let's see how that goes. Not going to worry about ball light or the wind. Perfect, perfect. I might have done too much of an angle on that. Coming down. Fairly good. A little bit too much of an angle. Let's see if I can sharpen that angle or straighten that angle up a little bit. That's a little bit better. Oh, now we're coming a bit left. A little bit too high on the angle. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay, that might be okay. How far out are we going to be? No, we're back over to the other one. Okay, I need to just get the angle. Just that I might actually just need to go a little bit more. Hold on. We'll just aim it down. See if we can get... Alright, just a... Don't go that far. Maybe just about there. Oh, now I got a fast, but let's see where it goes. Right, did that end up a little bit, little bit long, a little bit long and left. Right, let's try the perfect perfect. Try and get a perfect perfect again. There we go. That's coming around a little bit better. Still a little bit right, but that's somewhere in the range about 10 to 15 feet. Let's try it again. Okay, that's coming a little bit left this time. But again, it's in around about the 10 feet. Oh, sorry, but definitely outside 10 feet, but it's somewhere around about the 15 foot mark. Alright, there's the last one there. We'll change position. Oh, now this is actually, this is tracking very, very nice. This is tracking beautifully. Look at the almost hold it out. Almost hauled it out. Let's try actually one more from this position. Perfect, perfect. A little bit more of an angle, but it is coming back around. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That's five, maybe six feet. Let's change position. Um, Papa's over here. Papa's over here. There should be a tree in my way now. Pretty similar distance 143 come about 146 save with them with the wind 
Oh, we'll just all right. We'll pop it up to an eight iron again. Let's just see. I'm not really worried too much about how far past. I want to like obviously that can always be adjusted by wind or by wind by loft. But I'm gonna aim out roughly about the edge of the green grid again. Turn that controller for uh, roughly 40, 45 degrees. Oh, now that, how far is that? That's kind of angled a little bit more off to the right. That's gone well, well to the right there. Okay, so I might just need to adjust because the angle of the wind is slightly different, but we'll try it one more time. Okay, a little bit of a sharper angle. Oh, it's going over the tree. Where's the hole? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now again, I, I'm i not bothered about the wind, really, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm just aiming off to the left of the full green grid. Not worried about the lie of the ball. That's going to be a little bit right, but we'll see where it ends up. Where's the hole? Okay, well right there on that one. The wind has actually angled very, very slightly. So let me just give it a couple of little taps. A couple of little taps left. Maybe a couple more for good measure. Okay, that's still going a bit right, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's just a shame that uh, it's really the only area that has actual fairway. Let me see. Let's have a little look. Yeah, see, it's gonna be that's gonna be a nightmare. That's gonna be all rough, and there's just too many trees there. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come down about here. Now I know this is probably gonna be about. We'll do we'll do a longer club in a minute. But I'll take, I'm gonna take about three, four swings from from about here on the cart path. Now we've got a nine mile per hour wind, right? Okay. So 144. I'm playing about 143. I'll keep it on the nine iron. I just want to see the trajectory. Uh, let me just count out them grid squares there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Okay, yeah, should be roughly around about there, just about the edge of the green. Ten mile per hour crosswind. Let's see how that affects it. That's tracking beautifully. Beautifully. Again, I aimed at the exact same spot, edge of the green grid. It's almost like the wind did nothing there. Let's just make sure that it wasn't a fluke. Beautiful. It's coming back around. A little bit left of the pin this time, but still, look at that. That's got to be no more than 10 feet there. Let's try it one more time. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming a little bit more left this time. And uh, yeah, I clipped the top of the tree there, I think. So a little bit shy. Let's try it one more. There we go. And it's bending around beautifully. Again, I didn't adjust where I was aiming, did nothing of the sort. About 10 feet. About 10 feet yet again. Right, let's go a little bit further down the fairway here and aim back in. So, let me see, where is that going to be? That's going to give us, I'll tell you what, that's going to give us about, right, that's going to be roughly about a 170 yard. Back with a headwind again, though. So, 170 might just need to just take a shot or two, just to, uh, just to get a feel for it. Feel for how the ball will act. So, it's playing, what did I say, about 172. Club that up to a 6 iron. It might go a little bit long. But we'll aim it out to roughly about there again, edge of the grid. Oh, now I got a fast. Let's see how that acts. It's going long. Taking a little bit longer to come back around. It's well long. Okay, I'll try for the perfect perfect. I might need to go a little bit further outside the grid due to the fact that it is a full-on headwind. Now, the wind has died down. Uh, so, what did I say? 172. Right, club it back down. Now, I'm not aiming, I'm not adjusting the aim at all. We'll just deal off that a bit. Perfect, perfect. How far is it going to come back around? It's not coming back around, so I do need to bring it out a little bit more. <clears throat> Let's say... Let me see. Let's zoom it on down, just due to the fact that it is a full-on headwind. It's just not coming back around fully for me. Put it to about there, about the edge of the green instead. It's coming around. That's not bad. So instead of about 12 boxes, 12 grid squares out, that's going to be probably about 15, 16 grid squares out. Maybe somewhere in the range of about 15 to 18, I'd say. Let's try it one more time. 
Perfect, perfect. All tracking very, very nicely. Uh, about 10, 12 feet. In and around about there. Let's try it one more. Wind is starting to actually slightly angle. So I might need to bring it back into the edge of the, the green grid. Oh, but this is tracking beautifully. This could, if this turns a little bit, this could haul. That's beautiful. That's about somewhere in the range of six to eight feet. Let's try one more. This is the final one from here, but go a little bit longer. I was tracking around nicely. Beautiful approach. Again, somewhere around about six to eight feet. No more than eight feet, definitely. Let's go a little bit further back. Uh, so, I'll tell you what, I'll come in because we have the headwind. So, that's going to be playing about two. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it there. That's going to be about two, playing about 200 with the elevation. So, I'll pop up to a four iron with the wind. That should help. But let's go first off, just test it. Edge of the grid. Oh, well, that's a horrible, horrible looking one. <laughs> but we'll see where it ends up anyway. It's coming back around nicely. Again, I'm not bothered about really about the wind i just uh, i do just need to get a feel for how the angle goes but that was still a good outcome fast downswing where's that going to put it it's coming around nicely it's going to be long definitely going to be long but i mean if that's a power five if that's a, an average power five you've got a good chance at eagle there if you were gotten on two all right perfect perfect where's it going Come on back around, come on. Yeah, we might just need to go a little bit more with the longer club. Let's try it again. We'll just put it out what would be roughly about another six squares. So, maybe about there. Just due to the fact that it is a longer club, it's taking a little bit longer to come back around. This looks good. Should run up a little bit for me. That's not bad, it's a bit better. Say about 15 feet, no more. Let's try it one more. Oh, now I got to slow. What's that going to do? That's just holding it. Per that's just not. That's still coming back around. That's still coming back around. And again, as I mentioned a minute ago, if this is a power five and you're reaching it in two, you've got a good good look at eagle there. Reasonable shot, about twenty to twenty-five feet. I'd say that was. There's perfect, perfect. Where's it going to go? It's coming around very, very nicely. Going to hit the squirrel. He's going to hit the squirrel. Hi, squirrel. That's not too bad. About 15 feet it looked from that angle. The wind has picked up in all fairness though. So it might be just holding it up a little bit. But again, I mean, as you can see, even but even with the swing line, they are slightly varying. But I'm still getting pretty much the same result. Look at that. In again. I'm, I'm getting within a certain range pretty much each time. Perfect, perfect. Again, angle of the uh, of the line there is slightly different again. So, I mean, that's, that's going to confuse the API. And as I did mention there earlier, um, and I did show in the email, I was told that it read as way, way right, as if I had completely, completely sliced, shanked, whatever term you want to use, the shot. Where uh, if I if I was taking driver off the tee and hit at this angle, I'd take somebody's head off if they're if there were spectators lining along the tee box, that kind of thing. And again, I mean, I'm I'm not concerned about the wind really. There we go. Let's move it back a little bit closer again and have a look. Um, we'll try and aim for midish iron. Okay, that'll be that'll be about eight iron. Say one sixty-two with the wind. All right, that should put me seven iron. About a seven iron. So I'm mid iron. Yeah, it's gonna be playing about one sixty-two with the wind. We'll pop it up to a seven iron and just see. It probably go a little bit long. The wind isn't overly strong, but again, let's go. Out to the edge of the grid. Not worried about the ball line. Not worried about the wind. Okay. Need to go out just a little bit more. Again, just getting a feel for it. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly switch over. After a couple more shots of this. We'll just pop, I'll say, just pop it out a little bit more. It is almost a straight on headwind. But I'm going to take a couple more swings from here. And then I am going to cut the video and be back as a left-handed golfer and let's see how it does with a left-handed golfer i'm a little bit long there but the wind is dying down so what did i say 162 pop it back to an eight iron and we'll just de-loft it 
again, haven't changed where I'm aiming, just changed the club. That's looking good. And about 12 feet, maybe a little bit more, no more than 15. Again, not changing, still just coming back around, it doesn't matter about the wind, I'm ignoring the wind pretty much. As you saw from over on the cart path, I was getting some good shots in there with an 11 mile an hour uh, right to left. Oh, bit of a delay there. All right, that's the last shot there. It doesn't matter where it ends up. I am going to, as soon as this touches down, let's see how it ends up. I'm going to switch over to be a left-handed golfer, and I'm going to do the exact same. So that's probably left, oh, looks about 15, somewhere between 15 and 20 feet. So I'll be back in just a second as a left-handed golfer. Okay, so here I am back now. As you can see, I'm a lefty now, um, and it just <laughs> it just looks weird. Um, although I am left-handed in real life, I write with my left hand, I throw with my left hand. I, if I was to hold a golf club in real life, I actually have to do it. Right, I have to be holding it as a right-hander. Um, but let's just see. I'm going to aim out to the left again. See, so we're on a different hole. Wind is pretty much the same. I'm not too worried about. Uh, about the wind as I say we're just gonna aim out here and just let's I'm gonna do the exact same angle so what is it 165 playing about 168 call it 178 all right we'll go seven iron and we'll deal off to now as you can see normally with it being a right hander um, in the modifier box there it would say on the left hand side instead of saying fade it would say drop so it's obviously flipped around so I'm expecting this ball to go horrendously left by doing the exact same angle oh well Hold on, where's that gone? Right, now that was a fast downswing. Let me try and get... Perfect, perfect. Okay, there's perfect, perfect. And that that's coming around, that's coming around beautifully. That came around beautifully. Now, I was actually expecting that to go the other way. Believe it or not. Because going by the, the angle now, I should be doing a major pull on this shot is that right yeah it should be a pull because obviously with it being a right handed golfer and I've got, I'm angling at 8 to 2 I'd, I'd consider that to be a, a slice or a big major push so I should be really hooking this ball but that is doing the exact same path that's not too bad no, but again I'm really adjusting for the wind so what did I say 160A it's only about well yeah about 175 that's that's not too bad the wind isn't really doing much to it let's try it again oh, wrong button. there we go oh look at that that's tracking very nicely it's got to go a little bit long but again it's following the exact same path out of curiosity i'm going to do the other way i'm going to do i'm going to do this And as, 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 that's that's where I was expecting the ball to actually go um, a minute ago when first trying it as a lefty. But it seems to be exactly the same. I don't know if that's just me confusing myself. But otherwise it's doing the exact same path. But due to being a lefty, and as you can see, again, I'll show it in the, sh in the shot modifier. We've got fade on the left and draw on the right. Whereas if it was right-handed, it'd be draw on the left and fade on the right. So, I don't know. Good swing. Little bit left. Little bit long. So let's club it down. Let's club it down because the wind has died. Died down a little bit. Let's just see. Let's de-loft that a little bit as well. Just a little bit of de-loft. Again, I'm not bothered about where I'm aiming, or not where I'm aiming, uh, bothered about the wind or anything. I'm just aiming out to the edge of that grid. Let's go back over to the car path. Let's try that again. So we're roughly around about here, so wasn't it? Somewhere around about there, 144, paying about 143, yeah. Um, we'll put some loft on it, but first off, what we'll do is we'll just aim out to the left of the grid again, not worried about that wind. Let's put a little bit of loft on. Might come up a little bit shy though. I'm on turn back around for me, beautiful. A little bit long, could have done with a little, I was expecting it to come up a little bit shorter. But again, it's almost like playing off the fairway, so I'll just put a little bit more loft on it. 
Might even club it down to a pitching wedge. That's tracking pretty good. Exact same results, pretty much. Near enough. With each and every swing. Bar trajectory. I'm only aiming at the one spot. Oh, this could haul out. Oh, <laughs> just hopped over the hole a little bit to the left. Um, let's try it one more time. I tell you what, I should club it down. So, 143. We'll just deal off to the little bit. Wind has died down as well, but it doesn't matter. I mean, even with the windows a little bit stronger, I'm still getting the same result. Okay, a little bit further out there. Let's try that again. Bit of a short swing there at that time. And a little bit further out to the left. But you get the general idea. I'm ending up in pretty much the same zone. And I'm getting some very, very good outcomes from the shots. Um, aiming at, as, as you can see, aiming at just, just right at the edge. Right at the edge of the grid. Right at the edge of the grid. So that's 12 grid squares or 12 boxes out, whatever you want to call it. It, we did we did see with a little bit of a headwind or something like that that maybe I might have needed to just come, where it was more straight on headwind might just need to come out about here maybe probably just having the arrow of the the circle there uh, just on the edge of the grid box instead so having it out about another half a grid uh, about another let's say five to six boxes or so um, you probably say to yourself and you're Still hitting pretty much as oh there's a, a fast fast what's that gonna do? Um, you're you're still hitting pretty much a straight line. It's just a completely different angle. Um, but I mean if I tried to if I tried to replicate this shot swinging normally, I wouldn't be able to do it. Let's club that back up just while I'm just while I'm yapping away. Uh, I tell you what, we'll go back on the fairway. Go back on the fairway for fun. Uh, we'll go back here. Go back right over here into this little corner. Actually, it dips down here just before I'm wrapping this up if I, I think it dips down here the ball no hold on a little bit further a little bit further down say about here I think that's where it starts to slope off just so we just so we can test it look at that now that ball is severely below the feet I might need to readjust for this just really quickly 166 I'm playing about 169 call it 179 right I'll give it a six iron now as you can see that ball is I'm on quite a slope. Let's see how it goes. I'm probably actually going to hit the tree, to be honest. Perfect, perfect. It's holding straight. Which, pretty much expected to, due to, uh... Due to where the ball is lying. Okay, so the ball lie. Severe lie. Severe slope like that does come into play, it seems. Let's pull it back in to about there. About halfway through the grid. This will probably hit the tree. Yeah. Straight into the tree. All right, <laughs> so I won't worry about that. But you get the idea anyway. Severe lie. Definitely do need to just take that into account. But otherwise, don't worry about the lie. Don't worry. Don't really worry about the wind. Um, apart from just judging your distance, just aim off to the left of the grid. I I don't play like this. I don't. Uh, I don't. I'm not endorsing this. Um, why? Do why am I making this video about this? Well, considering the fact that. As I did mention near the start of the video, showing the email, the shot completely registered as a massive, massive miss hit by the API. Um, the swing, I'm getting the same line or the the same outcome near enough. I'm getting within a certain range each time with each shot. You could see the variations in the line, the angles. I was getting pretty much the same. It, and again, it didn't matter about the wind, direction, the strength. Would have been a headwind. I presume for a tailwind, you'd need to account for that as well. All that sort of thing getting pretty much the same results every single time getting within a certain range why is that going to be a problem well in my opinion this is where we're kind of going to dig down a little rabbit hole here um going to play what's our net what's our that one's name that went down the rabbit hole um With the likes of that, because the fact, now my understanding of other people's understanding when it comes to the API for TGC Tours is that the API is trying to look for consistency in shots, shots that are just too similar all the time. That's going to be going by your swing line in my opinion, so if your swing line is too straight going up through the swing plane or anything like that, the way that I understand it is the API is going to 
alarm itself and say, oh, what's going on here? And it's going to pull your scores because you're shooting too straight. Could be down to a warm controller. You could be using a, a pad that maybe is not officially made by Sony or Microsoft. Um, but yet doing this swing line, getting the same, pretty much the same outcome. A little bit of a variation on the angles aligned depending on how I hold or depending on how I push or flick the stick. What's to stop me using a heart the likes of a hurry pad, which is notorious for being a straight shooter uh, controller. Or using something else um, that could use scripts. So I'm sure everybody's aware of the likes of the Titans and the Cronus Max using a script. Um, with the likes of that. So you've got this swing line thrown off the API. You've got potential scripts and all that for all the, for whatever the scripts do. I, I never have, currently don't, and never will use the likes of a Titan, a Cronus Max, a Hori Pad. I prefer to just use my bog standard uh, DualShock 4. Um, there's no modifications done to it at all. I'll de I'll, the closest thing to modifying for that swing is I just turned it 45 to, 40 to 45 degrees in my hand and I pretty much flick towards if you're looking at if you look at a DualShock 4 right now aiming towards halfway between roughly around about the edge of the right edge of the light bar what would be just shy of being the R1 button that's that's all I did that's the closest thing to modifying that club I'm not putting any tape or nothing down to get it off at that angle and again, just just while we're closing out, I just we're just rolling the smoke there, so I just have it sitting in my mouth now at the moment. If you're wondering, I'm a bit muffled maybe. Uh, so what have we got here? 183, 186. Okay, five mile per hour wind. Um, not even gonna worry about the wind. To be honest, it, should, it might just roll out. Let's just go again. Don't care. Say about the wind. Let's put it there. Again, this is a lefty, which just looks completely weird. For me, playing as a lefty, but look at that, that's a great approach. That's a great approach, let's try it one more time. What's the ball like? Ball is ever so slightly above the feet. Wouldn't really affect it too much anyway. Perfect, perfect, that's a bit of a short swing there. Came a little bit left. Alright, let's try it once more. I'll tell you what, let's club it up. Let's play about 186 and then with the wind, yeah, so let's club it up. Pretty good. Oh, it's not really coming back around. So that was a little bit of a bad one there. It did end up in the bunker. But again, look at the range. Away from the holes to where I ended up. That's good. A slightly different angle on the, the thing again. But it's the exact same method. Did go a little bit long. The wind has died off. But you get what I mean. And uh, that's how I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, probably just about now. You should see a card up in the top right directing you over to Hippie Stein's video um, and you'll hear him he's in, a, he's in a party chat you can't hear the guy that he's talking to um, but he is saying he does uh, believe he does mention in the video that uh, he did get a pic get picture sent to him um, showing this and uh, then he passed it on to me and I thought you know what what the hell I'll make a video on it as well just pointing it out so I, I don't know if any of you guys the, the admins from TGC Tours are watching this maybe you might want to change your API or have a look at your APIs if you're seeing people who have massive misses to the right or left accordingly whichever whichever it is uh, but yet they're still getting great results might want to just have a little look I'm not accusing anybody couldn't give a toss uh, if you want to cheat if you need to cheat at a game I mean plenty of us have been accused I've been accused in the past I mean you've got early 1981 is still gets accused the odd time but not as severely as what it used to uh, in for well not enforcer anymore the uh, Zodiac 1903 formerly enforcer 3891 he's been accused plenty of times I say I've been accused I think um, I believe Jim Gem is it Jim Gem or Jim Gem if you're watching this video comment down below Jim Gem Jim Gem I can never remember what way to pronounce your name uh, I believe you've been accused a few times if I remember correctly countless other people have been accused uh, and they're all playing legit but yet you have the likes of this. I'll wrap the video up there. If you did enjoy it, do drop it a like. If you're only new to the channel or you haven't already and you do enjoy the content, my normal content that is, um, and you wish to do, make sure to subscribe and also click that bell icon. Keep yourself notified of all future uploads from myself. And until the next one, when we get back down to business on the Course Challenge series, take care, have yourselves a good one, and bye for now.